How to Make Seamless Patterns in Adobe Illustrator Hey guys, Kerry Hawkins here with my first Vectormade tutorial of 2019. Sorry it's taken so long, but I am working on some personal projects and we'll probably have some of that content on here at some point in the future too. But anyway, I got a, a, a question from um, someone who watched my Vector Snowflakes video here, and they asked, how can I make a vector pattern as such in a total square, like seamless repeat? Um, and so basically it's just asking for how do you make one of these swatches that uh, just repeats forever, right? Um, uh, and basically it, it's really easy. Um, you can kind of create the pattern here in Illustrator, all I've done is open up Illustrator and this is just like uh, some vector snowflakes that I've had for a while that I used in that last video. Um, but if you're gonna like have these pieces and make it look random, I would just grab everything that you have and bring it into this watch and then just let go and it will create a new pattern swatch for you. Then you can double click and, and then edit it from here. And over here you'll have some options um, like grid or brick by row or brick by column, which let me back out just a little bit so you can see the difference there. Um, you know, hex by column and hex by row. That's if you're doing a hex shape. Um, but grid's great for this. And then if you need to like resize, uh, this is here. If you need to do that, we're fine with the size as it is. Um, and then where the overlap's going to be, um, I'll resize it so you can see what that looks like. So the overlaps, you know, the, the top overlaps the bottom, the left overlaps the right. So I think that's important to note. Um, let me bump this up just a little bit. That's fine. We can do a little bit of overlap, not a big deal. But if you need to do more copies, you can do more copies here. I find three by three is fine. We'll give you exactly what you need. Um, and so that should be good to go right there. Uh, first thing I think I would do is to make this a solid background instead of a gradient because now it's going to look more seamless whereas if it's the gradient you're going to see each panel and i don't really want to see that then the next thing i want to do is just randomize the size and sh and and sort of direction of all of these various snowflakes um so we'll start maybe making this kind of small Maybe move this up a little bit. And since it's overlapping here, I'll just have to avoid that. Um, I can overlap on the right edge and then on the bottom. So that's kind of where I'll probably do most of my larger pieces and do a little overlapping will be there. But I'm just gonna resize everything. And you know, cool thing about doing this is you can, you can see it change in all of the panels as you're making it. So you, you kind of get a sense for how this pattern is going to behave um, when you finally do use it in your own application. Um, let's see, maybe here, maybe bring this up a little bit and then this guy can come out and fill up this space. And then we'll turn him just a tiny bit. Something like that, I, yeah, for this, I think that's fine. When you're done, you hit done. The cool thing is now, um, you know, if you've got this swatch selected and I go and make um, a shape, uh, like just do a square, boom, it's filling up that entire square with that. And if I just do a long rectangle, same thing, or if I do a big circle, same thing. So now you have this repeatable pattern uh, that just will go into infinity if you wanted it to, right? Only to the limits of uh, Adobe Illustrator. So that's pretty much it. It's really simple, and if you ever need to make a change, you just double click again and go in here and, and say, no, I don't like that. I want this to be smaller. I want this over here, and I want this to be smaller as well, and then you say, I'm done. And you know it will, it will make changes for you as you're doing it. So um, it's pretty easy, very simple to use, very handy if you've got a pattern and you need it to be various sizes in, in all sorts of different applications. So let me know what you thought of that tutorial. Uh, leave a comment down below. Go ahead and like, subscribe, hit the notification bell because subscriptions are meaningless on YouTube. Why do they have them? I don't know. 
And I will look forward to, to giving you guys a whole lot more videos in 2019. And I will see you in the next video.